welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i am back with another hair review this video is sponsored by beauty forever hair they were kind enough to send me over this unit right here that i will be reviewing for you guys this is their 13 by 4 wand curl body wave lace front wig so yeah switching up the scenery a little bit you know i've been doing a lot of curly units lately so we got a little body wave unit you know but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video i'm gonna start with the unboxing which i already filmed as always so y'all just saw the box but this is what the box looks like and inside the box comes this little organza bag right here and it's got some goodies inside of it it came with a rat tail comb some cute little rhinestone pear shaped earrings some lashes and of course the wig caps that all the companies send oh this was what was different about this company they sent a little satin little drawstring bag to put my wig in after i'm through with it because you know these little boxes is too bulky they take up too much space so they sent me a little drawstring bag to put the wig in and store like all my little stuff in so yeah they sent that and it just says beauty forever on it real cute and then of course your wig is in the box at the bottom so it comes inside of that plastic bag and then inside of a hairnet so this is what it looks like straight out the box this is the construction it's got two combs in the front a comb in the back and an adjustable strap and yeah like i said it's a 13 by 4 lace frontal um i believe this is 24 inches yeah 24 inches yeah this is the pattern straight out the box and everything i of course washed it and bleached the knots and plucked it so i'm gonna show y'all that was the before i washed it bleached it and plucked it i didn't get a picture of it on the mannequin head before i plucked it i usually take a before video and after video when i bleach and pluck or whatever but yeah for whatever reason i didn't do that um but i do have video of after i bleached the knots and plucked one side so here it is with one side plucked and with the side not plucked so you can kind of see the difference of what it looked like before i plucked it yeah and then this is how it looked after i plucked both sides and then this is how much hair i got from plucking so yeah that's the unboxing we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the install portion of the video i installed it after i bleached the knots and plucked it so that's what y'all gonna see next so if you want to see me install her i'm not talking or anything as always but like i said in my last video if y'all want me to do an updated wig install routine then i will do that just comment it below but in this video it's just sped up of me installing my wig i do show y'all the products i'm using but it's just sped up i'm not talking or explaining anything so yeah if y'all want to see how i installed her then keep on watching Admit it, you did it, let's hop a cab and split it We both going to where you living, <laughs> oh that's the ticket I hope you're more like I need a banker What? I'm just kidding like
right y'all so y'all just saw the install portion now here we are a few days later i've worn this hair for a few days just so i can give y'all a full review as always um let's start with the install the install went by pretty well like i feel like the lace did pretty well for the install it melted pretty nicely into my skin the only thing and i said this in my last two eunice hair wig reviews is the lace not going to my ears i don't know what's up with that like companies have been having their lace go all the way to your ears it does go on this side it's all the way at my ear but on this side it's up here and my hair is sticking out right here because my hair is right here but i'm just i've just been used to my is that like not a thing anymore because i've been used to my wigs going all the way to my ear because you cut like around your ear you know you having to part the hair and cut it i haven't even had to part anything because there's nothing to part because it's not going to my ears so yeah this side right here it didn't go to my ears all the way up here so i had to cut off so much of my bald cap right here um my hair is sticking out but yeah it still looks pretty decent like you know it's not that noticeable unless you just all up in my head and i go like this but you know whatever i don't know what's up with that but that was one of the things about this i didn't like so it's not really giving 13 you know 13 by 4 frontal that's 13 inches this way and 4 inches this way it's not giving 13 this way because it's not touching my ears so that was one thing the shedding it doesn't shed much i didn't get much shedding until i bleached the knots on it which is expected because i put chemicals on it so you know it did shed a little bit more then but nothing too crazy it's just like average shedding for wigs yeah the length i do love the length on it 24 inches it is giving 24 it goes all the way past my underwear yeah it does pass the link check test i do like the parting space it is giving four inches this way so that was good so yeah the only other con besides the lace not giving 13 inches and it's not touching my ears on this side it's not touching my ear is the density this is not thick enough for me like this is all the hair right here i have all the hair to the front this is literally it like that's all the hair and that's just not like i like my wigs pretty full like thick um especially straight units just because you know if you got it bone straight or well, this isn't a straight unit by the way but even if you wear it straight or curled it's like it doesn't look very full you know what i'm saying and you know curly hair like 150 percent density is like pretty big but like curly hair is big like you know what i'm saying but this is not doing it for me i definitely will need to see like a 180 or something because this 150 is not cutting it like it's not cutting it. yeah it's not giving that like it's not giving 150 at all it's real thin and i don't like that that's the only thing about it for real but other than that the hair is super soft it was soft when i got it it was soft after i washed it and bleached the knots everything is still soft right now i curl this hair in the install portion i installed and styled it y'all your girl finally learned how to barrel curl i learned in this video when i was installing it i learned to barrel curl i've never been able to barrel curl and now i know how to barrel curl but that day i installed it those curls didn't hold at all it held for like 10 minutes and my hair was like this after 10 minutes like it the curls was gone so i don't know what's up with that unless i didn't put enough if it's something i did unless i didn't put enough hairspray because i put a lot more hairspray today and i've been taking pictures and everything and the curls are still pretty there like you know what i'm saying it was not like this the other day maybe that was something i did because you know body wave hair usually holds a curl better than straight hair so you know i was expecting it to be able to hold a curl because it's body wave hair so when they fell in like 10 20 minutes the day i installed it i was like i don't like that so it might have been me though i might didn't put enough hairspray because i put a lot of hairspray this time and these curls are still here still giving like a, a loose body wave but yeah i also cut some layers in it or tried to anyway i don't even know how to cut layers for real like the proper way to do it i just do it like my own little way but i did what i could for her you know it looks it looks good enough for me so yeah other than that i really like the hair i like um everything else about it it's just the lace not getting 13 like i said it's not touching my ear over here and it's too thick for me now y'all might it's other people out there that actually might like this density like super natural density i feel like the hair on my head like my real hair is thicker than this so you know Mm, I just wish it was a little bit thicker like for me like I just need it I need my hair to be thick especially straight units why do I keep saying straight body wave units I want my curls to be like full and you know like real voluminous and you know it's just not really doing that for me because it's not thick enough so yeah that's the only thing about it but I still like it though I'm actually going to customize this like color it I'm gonna bleach it and I'm gonna try the bleach bath method so I may record that in case y'all do want to see I was about to ask if y'all want to see that but I'm gonna go ahead and record it when I do it.
do it just in case y'all do say you want to see it. I'm gonna try and bleach it and do like some fall colors. You know, fall's coming up, so I gotta get some fall content. You know, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something different when I take this out. But I have another video to film once I take this out, so it won't be anytime soon. Probably like in the next two weeks or so that I do that. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Y'all might see me in some fancy little color. But that's all I had to say about this wig. If you want to check it out, the link will be in the description box below, as well as the link to their website if you want to see any of their other products. But the direct link to this hair will be in the description box as well. But that's all I got for y'all. That is it for this video. Don't forget to check out my website, hooshibeauty.com, where I sell my lashes, my big blinks, which are my 25 millimeter lashes, and my baby blinks, which are my shorter lashes for my natural girls. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. I usually don't wear my baby blinks. I've been wearing my big blinks lately. The ones I'm about to drop are part of my fluffy series. I've been wearing those, but I'm wearing my baby blinks today. I felt like being a little more natural. So this is in the style T. So if you want this pair, that's the style I'm wearing right now. So yeah, go check out my lashes. I also sell lip gloss that I make myself. I sell lip candies, which are my tinted glosses. I sell juicy watermelon, which is a red tint, Georgia peach, which is a peachy tint, and cocoa kisses, which is what I'm wearing right now, which is a brown tint. They come in these cute little candy tubes. I also sell bags. I sell the crystal money bags. I have quilted mini bags. I have spring mini bags. I have rhinestone face masks. I sell press-ons. I make myself. You can shop any of the designs that I have on my website, or you can DM my business page on Instagram, Who She Beauty, and we can discuss a custom order over there. I do accept custom orders, but you just got DM my business page to place one. I'm also gonna drop some new designs on my website. This is one that I'll be dropping. This cute little tortoise shell design that I did the other day. I'm gonna drop these for the fall on the website if you wanna order these. How cute. But yeah, I sell press-ons. I also sell jewelry, necklaces, anklets. I sell handmade velvet do-rags I make myself. I be sewing. If you didn't know that, go follow me on TikTok, Alyssa.Jalice. I post all my sewing content over there. Um, I make little outfits and stuff like that. But yeah, I sell handmade velvet do-rags. I also sell sweat sets that y'all need to go buy up because I'm not restocking those and they're on sale right now. They've been on sale all summer because you know it's out of season and they're real warm. They're fleece lined. So it's good for the winter. The colder months is coming up. So y'all need to get it while it's on sale. I'm not restocking it. I will be restocking it just not in that color. Yeah, I sell those and I also sell lash tweezers. So if you have trouble applying your lashes, I have cute little lash tweezers with my little logo right there and you can buy those. It makes it so much easier. It goes by so much faster. If you don't know how to put on lashes, that's what you need. I know how to put on lashes. I've been wearing lashes for years, but I always use those tweezers for my lashes because it just makes it go by so much faster. You have so much more stability when you use those. It's like easier to guide and like place it directly where you want it. So yeah, go shop those. But yeah, that's everything. So go check out my website, whoshebeauty.com. Link in the description as well as my business page on Instagram. Well, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.